Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at a property of Laplace transform concerning change of scale in time domain. So, we are looking at change of scale property of Laplace transform. So the property can be defined as follows. If the Laplace transform of a function f of t is equal to f of s, then changing the scale of the time t by a factor of a, f, that is Laplace transform of f of a t, Laplace transform will is equivalent to changing the scale of the Laplace transform by a factor 1 by a with respect to s. That is when the value of the time is scaled by a value of a, that is when it is basically multiplied by a factor a, then in the s plane the value of s is scaled by a factor of 1 by a and the function is also multiplied by a factor 1 by the scaling factor in time domain. So, let us look at the corresponding proof. This Laplace transform of f of a t is equal to by definition integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t f of a t d t. Now, by rewriting a t as u and dt as du by a and the limits won't change because for, for t equal to 0, u is 0 and for t equal to infinity, u is also equal to infinity. So, the integral becomes integral 0 to infinity e power s into u by a f of u du by a. So, this is equal to 1 by a integral 0 to infinity e power minus s by a into u f of u du which is basically definition of the Laplace transform with s replaced by s by a. Therefore, this is equal to 1 by a f of s by a. Now, the theorem is proved. Next, let us look at an example. Laplace transform of sine of t is given by 1 by s square plus 1. Now, by using this Laplace transform, we can find the Laplace transform Laplace transform of a scaled version of the sine t, which is sine of 2t, which is equal to by using this formula 1 by 2 multiplied by s by 2 square plus 1. That is, we replace s with s by 2, that is, a is 2, and also multiply the function or the Laplace transform with a factor 1 by 2. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 into 4, 4 by s square plus 4, which is equal to, of course, 2 by s square plus 4. Thus, we can use the scaling property of Laplace transform to derive the Laplace transform of scaled functions. But this basically when we have sine t, we can find any sine of a, any function that has a structure sine of a t. Similarly, for cos a t and so on. Thanks for watching.